Thanks for tuning in. Anton here from Hardware Sugar for Tech Show But Friendly, our weekly podcast. And the biggest news of this week is that there was a failed launch of a new product. And of course, I'm talking about the 7800X3D. All right, got you thinking, right? Because if you've been following hardware, you know that the 4070 launched this week. Actually, today when I'm recording this. And we'll get to the 4070, don't worry. But I wanted to talk briefly about the 7800X3D. What is this failure to launch you here? I mean, if you've been following the news, you know that the reviews have been pretty glowing. And it's probably sort of the best CPU you can get now, price to performance wise, for gaming. But the failure, dear listener, is AMD's lack of sending items or supply to us here in the Philippines. Yes, I'm taking it personally because a lot of our customers have been asking us, please get the 7800X3D. And I, it, it pains me to tell you that I'm sorry we can't get it. There's no stock yet. But believe me, we will let you know. We've had a bunch of people. This is probably the most excited I've seen from the local market for a 7000 series Ryzen CPU. So we have our usual suppliers, you know, we've, we've put them a notice that if you get one or two, please do let us know because we're going to snatch up those 7800X3Ds and we're going to let the customers who've asked about them know that they're available and that you can get them from us. But actually, the 7800X3D came out last week. So the big news this week is the 4070 and it's been good. So you're getting roughly the performance of a 3080 for less. So the starting price on launch date is cheaper than the price of the 4080 was. And the GPU itself is also physically smaller than the previous 40,000 series cards. So popular opinion on the internet has been, well, really, what's not to like about this 4070? It's a return to sanity. Yes, the price is expensive, but it's cheaper compared to the other 40 series cards. And that's just really where NVIDIA gets you. We've talked about in previous episodes on the YouTube channel where if you chart NVIDIA's pricing, really even before the pandemic, their prices have been slowly going up, slowly getting the customer used to the fact that, oh, if you want a cutting-edge next-gen or current-gen card, you're going to need to pay a bit more. And here we are with the 4070 where the price is pricey, but compared to everything else, it leaves a lot of people saying that, well, why not? <laughs> and uh, at least on the local market, the 4070 is high 30s. So definitely not something you would find in a mid-range gaming rig. Mid-range for us is around 50,000, but you know, there's like 40 to 50 mid-range. So you're entire budget, three-fourths of your budget goes to the GPU if you have a total like that and you're going for a 4070. So it's really still geared to more high-end builds, but it's a sign of things to come when the inevitable 4060 comes out, 4050 maybe. I mean, you know that NVIDIA has those things just lying around or just around the bend. I do appreciate that it's an actual GPU launch that is on time. So when they said it's going to come out April 13, it really did come out April 13. If you saw our post on Facebook, actually, you know that the Zotac model came out a bit earlier because Zotac being Zotac, I don't know, those guys are <laughs> playing with fire a little bit. They don't seem to respect NVIDIA's launch dates. I mean, Zotac for the past generation of cards seems to just eke it out or you know it, it comes out just a little bit earlier than everybody else so we do have the card in the shop now so that's a successful launch when you say that something is available and it's available in the philippines <laughs> i would say that's a successful launch so i'm still counting the launch of the 7800 x3d as a failure because you know, we're still waiting for it but kudos to nvidia and i know nvidia gets a lot of hate online and offline for its prices but really, it's still the number one go-to brand for GPUs. For a lot of our customers, even if we were to recommend AMD, they would still look for NVIDIA. And I think really because they have the image of being the performance card. Yes, you pay more, but inevitably over any spec, you're getting more performance. Not necessarily better value, but more performance from NVIDIA cards. I think Hardware Unboxed, the YouTube channel, came out with a video recently which compared the FSR. So FSR is AMD's version of DLSS. 
you know, they compared the two technologies, they basically do the same thing. But one is for the AMD cards and one is for the NVIDIA cards. And almost on all aspects, the DLSS or the NVIDIA implementation of upscaling technology came out superior or came out better. And while AMD's cards are usually cheaper, the performance crown is usually undisputedly NVIDIA's and that has really latched on, not just here. I mean, if you look at the sales of AMD GPUs internationally, they're are down even they've even slid even further than you know its paltry market share i can't quite remember we've talked about it on tech show but friendly before but the market share of amd and gpus which was already quite small has actually slid with this latest 7000 series of theirs so people complain a lot about the pricing with nvidia but they still buy the NVIDIA cards and it's uh, it you know it, it's frustrating from a hobbyist from an enthusiast perspective but that's really where we are now with the market and complaining that NVIDIA's GPUs are expensive is sort of like complaining that water is wet and to be honest that's really all I have for this week I skimmed the news but nothing really interesting popped out other than the feedback on the 7800X3D and that's a feedback from a local perspective we do Run Hardware Sugar, which is a PC shop here in the Philippines. So while our fellow enthusiasts abroad are enjoying the 7800X3D, we are not yet because it's not yet available here. Unlike the newly launched NVIDIA 4070, where actually multiple brands contacted us to let us know that, hey, if you want to buy, we do have the 4070 on hand. In shop or YouTube channel news, we do have or we have received already the silver play button. So if you remember, we hit 100k subscribers roughly three weeks ago, I think. Or was it at the end of March or early April? I think it was the end of March or something. So actually, the silver play button came quite quickly. There was just, you know, once you hit 100, you think it's automatic. But actually, it took a couple of days for YouTube to let us know via email. And, you know, there was a button that came up in the UI and the YouTube studio that, hey, you know, you can order your silver play button. And we do actually have it already, but we haven't unboxed it because I want to unbox it live um, on Pwede Magtanong, which of course is our live tech advice show. As far as I know, it's the longest running tech advice show on the internet and people can chat in their questions and we try to reply to them, answer them in real time. So the plan was to do Pwede Magtanong today. If you're listening to this podcast when it came out April 14, Friday, the plan was to do it today, but the problem was our sponsor wanted us to release a video specifically on April 14, today. And then another problem was that ASOS, who kindly sent over their beautiful, their latest OLED monitor, the PG27A QDM, also wanted us to release their monitor video review on April 14, Friday. So it's really not good spacing to have two videos on the same day and we really try to have it or to make it to have some kind of spacing at least two days in between videos but what can we do the sponsor wants it and on the other hand asus also wants the pg27 aqdm video released on friday because it's the worldwide release date so you know you have this kind of like uh press full court press talking about the monitor and i i, I get it um and no problem we have the content i ready but we, I, I think it would be really overkill <laughs> to have Tech Show, sorry, to have Pwede Magtanong also on April 14, Friday. So that's like two videos and one live stream on one day. That's just too much. Sayang naman yung, yung exposure because YouTube does take your videos and try to disseminate them or to seed them out. But if you have new things, you know, one after another, the there's less breathing room there's less time for one video to get disseminated out so we can't also do it april 21 because it's a holiday or it, it's rumored to most likely be a holiday and i'm actually already scheduled to be out of town so we try to do pwede magtanong every friday sorry the first friday of the month but we couldn't do it first friday april because it was holy week can't do it second Friday because of, as I mentioned, we already have a lot of content releasing today and and you should check out that content. Um, one video is from Rafael, my brother, who talks about like tech accessories that are great that are under 950 pesos, which is a series that he's been doing like, oh, 
tech accessories below X amount, and it, it has done really well. And my review of the PG27AQDM is coming out. Spoiler alert, I mean, it's a beautiful monitor. I really enjoyed my time with it. But for those of you who have been following the channel for a long time, you know that my heart still belongs to my also very beautiful ROG PG48UQ. And it's a testament to how much I loved both monitors that I can still remember their bloody names or their alphanumeric string. And it's no joke. It's quite difficult to remember a random series of letters and numbers. But that's a content that released April 14, Friday. If you're listening to the podcast today, please do check it out. And even if you're not listening to the podcast on April 14, Friday, please do check it out. So, can't do pwede magtanong first week April, rather first Friday April, second Friday April, can't do it third Friday April. So, we're going to be doing it on the fourth Friday of April and we will be unboxing the silver play button live. And I don't, like, I don't, I don't want to make it into a video because it's sobra na, medyo over the top na. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am super thankful that we hit 100k. It's a big thing for the YouTube channel, for the shop, and just... You know, all of us, me, the Rocky the Programmer, Ren, Jay, Ken, Gerald, you know, everybody really who's contributed. Rafael, my brother, everyone, the entire team here at Hardware Sugar were tickled pink to have hit 100k. But medyo, di ko na kailangan na i, you know, parang you have, it, it seems so drawn out. Like if you do a video pa of the unboxing and things like that. But uh, we will be unboxing it live, you na lang. So it's like, oh, hey, and you know, it's also nice. I mean, I I do understand the regular viewers do kind of want to see it now. Hey, you know, because it's we it's your success as well. The the regular viewers of the channel, we're super thankful. I mean, it's amazing. We have 40 members now on YouTube, 100 plus thousand subscribers and such a vibrant community. I mean, we see it in the comments. We see the regular names on YouTube, on Facebook, in Discord. And really, this silver play button isn't just ours. It's yours. It's everybody who's shared a video, liked the video, left a comment, even a negative comment. <laughs> and I say this like I'm particularly amused by the irony because if it's a negative comment and you're, you know, you're bashing the channel, this button, this recognition from YouTube is in part because of you. You also helped fuel the algorithm and like YouTube's algorithm was like, oh, you know, this channel is generating some kind of interest and maybe I'll pump it out to more people. And just on a personal note, I also want to say thank you. It's not a facetious thank you. I mean, it's a genuine thank you, even to the bashers, because honestly, I get a lot of jollies. <laughs> I, get a, I, get a, I get a couple of good laughs out of the occasional basher. And if the criticism is well-founded, I mean, if there's substance behind it, then that's super useful as well for us. So it's all upside, whether it's a comment that I can just kind of laugh at or it's a comment that really does make me think and say that, yes, you're right, and we can do better. On that note, we're going to keep this episode short and sweet because, to be honest, that's all the news that I thought was particularly relevant to a mainstream audience. I mean, I try not to get super nitty-gritty on Tech Show, but friendly. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Anton from Hardware Sugar for Tech Show, but friendly, our weekly podcast on all things hardware all things computer, all things gaming, but discussed in a friendly manner. You don't need to know a lot of jargon. We don't assume that you have a PhD in computer science because neither do we. In fact, we hope that if you're listening, you're not a computer or you're not into computers yet. And we hope to evangelize you that, yes, this hobby is pretty interesting. It can get a bit complicated, but figuring it out with like-minded people is part of the fun. Thanks for listening.